Yes. Right now, I want to bring out the director of tonight's film, and it's not you. This yeah, is, I know. This is the first Sedaris film that you have not personally directed. Right. And that's because about a year ago, you retired? I, well, I sort of retired, and I passed the bikini and the G-string to my son. <laughs> And yeah. uh, that's the, you know, that's what, what's a well, father I, 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 What I was going to say, Andy, is that you, when you became a producer, you did a nationwide talent search. Yes. And finally decided to hire your second assistant director, who that, also happens to be your son. That's right. Drew Sedaris. He's wonderful and, and he's, he's cheap. He's cheap. He okay. comes cheap. <laughs> and Drew directed Enemy Gold. Ladies and gentlemen, offspring of the legend, <laughs> Drew Sedaris. Whoa, whoa, Hi, Joe Bob. Whoa, whoa. Drew. Yeah. Thanks for having yeah. me on your show. Sure. So, Drew, did you have to go go to your dad and beg him to let you direct, or how did this thing happen? Oh, um, it just sort of fell into it. I mean, I just did more and more, and uh, and he wanted to do less and less, and uh, it just worked out. Daughter. Did Andy ever teach you how to shoot sex scenes? I mean, did he, did he say things like, always position the camera a little lower than the left nipple, and any tips like that? I mean, did he tell you anything about what he does? I usually schedule, like, a second unit chase scene and say, well, I've got to go do this car wreck. Why don't you go and uh, do the love scene? Because uh, you he's had more experience. Uh, yeah. You, you still let Andy do the love scenes? No, he did the love scenes. It's just that Arlene overlooks everything, and she's over there with her Arlene, set. your wife and producer. Right. She's so sassy. She stands there with her hands on her hips and uh, tries to make the girls look. She, she, our, our love scenes are gratuitous and not lascivious. That's what, you mm. know, I don't even know what those words mean. <laughs> for me, they roll around in the hot tub, see you later. But she's got words for that <laughs> okay so Arlene directs the love scene yeah more or less <laughs> okay well I have to say Drew that the movie we're about to watch your film debut is the greatest movie so far this year that features enormous breasted undercover federal agents firing off automatic weapons and riding dirt bikes around through the East Texas Piney Woods in search of buried Confederate gold while being hunted down by a Bolivian topless bar owner and cocaine dealer with terrible diction does that about sum it up uh, yeah <laughs> How did he do on this one, Andy? He did wonderfully. I really was sort of in the background. I didn't do much. Uh, I, did, I did some second unit stuff. The nice thing about it is he got up at 4.30 in the morning. Arlene and I got up at 9.30. We went to the set and we said, where the hell are the donuts? And what we got here is 22 dead bodies, 20 breasts, exploding pickup with fireball, multiple ard barking, three motor vehicle chases with crash and burn, tree branch through the neck, cat yeah. fight, starring <laughs> Susie Simpson. She's Penthouse or, pl or Playboy? Playboy. She's a Playboy. Play Playboy. 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 Julie Strain, Ty Collins. Didn't she sleep with a senator or something? Well, that's that the rumor. I don't know. I, I wasn't there, but if I had been, <laughs> I'd have gotten a shot of it for sure. <laughs>